In step three of exercise number four, the following actions have to be implemented to complete the machining of the elevated floor areas. An eye rough and eye finish operation must be defined. Add a new eye machining operation. In the solid cam manager, right click operations, add milling operation, and select 2D eye machining. The eye machining operation dialog box is displayed and the default eye rough is used for technology. On the geometry page, click the new button to define the machining geometry for the elevated floor areas. For this operation, one chain is defined as open and the other is defined as semi-open. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on a top edge of the island contour as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. The chain icon is displayed in the chain list section. Right click chain 1 and choose Mark Chain as Open. Next, pick on a top edge of the other elevated floor area as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. In the chain list, right click chain 2 and choose Mark Chain as Open. Then, right click chain 2 again and choose Mark Open Edges. The Mark Open Edges dialog box is displayed and enables you to define parts of the chain as open or closed. In the Mark As area, select Wall. In the Select area, set the radio button to From Two Entities. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the two chain entities as shown. This will define the section of chain along the wall as closed. Click OK to accept the selection. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the tool page and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. In the Part Tool table, select Tool Number 1, the 9.5mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, select the top edge of the target model as shown and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the top face of an elevated floor to define the machining depth. Click OK to confirm the selection and display the iMachining Operation dialog box. Switch to the Technology Wizard page to view the cutting conditions. The wizard automatically calculated one step down to achieve the total depth with an ACP value of 2.3. Reduce the machining level slider to 3 for the operation. On the technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, a 0.24 mm allowance will be left on the walls. At this point, the eye rough operation can be calculated and the eye machining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation eye rough elevated floors. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool enters the interior pocket and performs a roughing toolpath on the top face of the island, and then rapids over and performs a roughing toolpath on the other elevated floor area. Exit the Simulation Control Panel. Next, define the finished machining of the interior pocket wall over the elevated floor area that was defined as a semi-open pocket. Click the Save and Copy button to create a copy of the current eye machining operation. Under Technology, change the operation type to Eye Finish. Use the copied machining geometry and milling levels definitions from the previous eye rough operation. Switch to the tool page. Currently, the copied 9.5mm end mill is selected for the operation but is not suitable to perform the finished machining. Click the Select button and choose Tool Number 2, the smaller 6mm end mill from the Part Tool table. Then, click Select to exit the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. 
Switch to the Technology Wizard page to view the cutting conditions. For this operation, decrease the machining level slider to 4. On the Technology page, the Wall Island Offset is now set to 0 by default. Switch to the IRES Data tab. The previous IRUF operation is selected as the parent operation, and the fields are filled with the three important values needed for calculating rest material. The iFinish operation can now be calculated, and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iFinish Elevated Floors. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool enters the interior pocket and performs finishing of the corners and wall over the elevated floor area. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box. At this stage, step 3 is complete. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to define the rough and finished machining of the elevated floor areas.